Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Motors and Blowers. Good morning, it's about 10.30. And can you believe it? It's already 93 degrees, 100% humidity here in Long Island. When you thought it was, gonna, uh, it was hotter yesterday than ever before, it's even actually going to be hotter today. Can you believe it? That's just the way it is in the summertime over here in Long Island, man. Super cold in the winter, super hot in the summer. You only like the in-between times. Anyway, as you guys saw yesterday from my uh, video that I wasn't intending on doing yesterday since I was celebrating my dog's birthday, uh, it was a very nice birthday. Uh, my friend Andy from Jericho made me these stencils here of the, now I know, it's called the Punisher Skull with the um, star stencil that I'm going to place right here on the hood of my uh, Franken Tractor 2 Nightmare Desert Sand Military Themed Humvee Lawn Tractor. I also have this uh, flag here that he cut out for me, painstakingly I, I should imagine, of the flag. I'm going to try to use this twice or maybe three times but it'll be tough to do because once I put, place that on here and spray it with the paint, right, I have to wait for this to dry and then peel it off carefully to put it on the other side and maybe I'll try to put it on the back too. Uh, shout out to James Mills from Schenectady, Schenectady, New York for buying a sticker last night. Keep those sticker orders coming and uh, thank you for your support. Also, when I shouted out Bill Winters the other day, uh, he generously donated to the paint job. However, he missed the memo on writing it on the PayPal, so I didn't know it was for the um, hood. So I just added his name. There you go, Bill. Thanks again for the support. Also, as you know, I got this McLean Edger from my friend Larry over in Hopog. He didn't want it. I didn't really want it because it has this old brig setup here, right? Where it's the ball bearing type recoil starter and it probably has a points magneto, which I don't like to deal with. Also, this Pulsa Jet type diaphragm carburetor setup that it has over here. I've worked on a bunch of these, usually for vac chippers and stuff like that, shipper shredders and uh, old um, uh, little wonder ground blowers. The linkages, they're a nightmare to work on. It also has a damaged wheel over here and it's missing a blade. So it would cost me more money to get this working than uh, I thought it would, it would actually be worth, you know? Um, my friend Nick from Lindenhurst, 5 Speed Ash, he told me this thing's worth like $250. I'm like, just like Scott Taylor told me those snappers were worth $400? Yeah, right. When you can find the nut who will pay that kind of money for this, you can go buy a brand new Edger for $199 at Home Depot. So. He said he was going to come over and pick it up. I was going to give it to him for free. If you had an intake, intake valve for me to fix that 13.5 flathead engine, it's all yours. If not, he's given me a lot of stuff over the years too. So it's all yours there, five-speed ash. Just come and get it. It is absolutely too hot to be outside. I'm going to melt away to nothing. I'm going to be like that witch in The Wizard of Oz. So here we go. I'm going to be applying my Punisher star on the hood. This is going to complete the tractor once and for all. I have been working on this tractor for, I counted the episodes, seems like 12 or 13 episodes to get this going. Uh, it's been a fun project, but I'm ready to move on to something else, you know? Um... Listen, I know it's gonna, not going to be as glamorous of episodes coming up, but uh, my garage is filled with uh, all these engines and stuff, see? The three uh, engines, the Kohler Courage that I used to build this engine over here, right? Well, I still have the engine blocks. Uh, two of them are bad, but I do remember that there is one other Kohler Courage engine block that I had. Uh, that has two cracks in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, see what I need to make another engine out of those uh, parts. And uh, I'm going to use JB Weld and uh, fix those um, cracks. In addition, I have a uh, single overhead valve Briggs that I believe is only the connecting rod that is busted. I have a head for it and all the other parts. So perhaps I can build another Kohler Courage and then I could 
uh, rebuild a 16 horsepower single overhead valve. So I might be able to have two engines in this general area as long as I put them together. I have to do that so I can clear this part out. You know, I'm not going to move all this stuff somewhere and then build it later, which means I'd have to bring it back out again. So I'm just going to, you know, clean out my garage, build the two engines, and then I've got push mowers to deal with. And then eventually, if I, if I don't run into anything else to fix, Jamal Alatet might be on the horizon. Uh, I say again, might be, because I really dread working on that thing. If you guys know the translation of Jamal Alatet, you'll know what I mean. Anyway, uh-oh. So this is going to be a little tricky to get rid of here, I mean to unpeel, because um, my friend Andy from Jericho basically used um, an X-Acto knife and painstakingly cut the stencil out. And when you unpeel it, right, it, it may stick. Like this white part here is stuck here, right? So it has to be exactly precise when you peel this off. That Man, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Look at the contrast. He's a very talented guy, that Andy. So, uh, you know, I'm going to try to center it as much as possible um, but it's like I said it it's it's just a tractor so uh, I'm not gonna go crazy usually you do it from center to out to get the bubbles out but remember this is just a stencil so we just need it to just be here so that when I put the paint over it It'll be good. Okay, now that I got that off, right, you peel this blue part off, the blue sticker. That's right, not sticker, sticker. Holy cow. You're going to go crazy just trying to get this to peel. All right, come on, man. I successfully moved that stencil from that side to this side and kind of lined it up. It's not as perfect as that one because once you pull it off, you're stretching the vinyl, you know, but it's uh, pretty good. You don't want it too wet, otherwise it'll drip into the parts that aren't contacting the thing. So just a light mist, as long as it's dark. Of course, Quinn the mailman came by, and we talked for another 40 minutes or so in this heat about how we're all gonna uh, pass out and die. Anyway, that was a very productive uh, conversation. Now I'm gonna remove the stencil for the skull. While I was waiting for this paint to dry, I was um, checking out what I should do about uh, my engines. So I've taken out like all three blocks that I have left of the Color Courage. And uh, the one that I thought that I could probably um, JB weld actually looks a little bit too damaged for me to do it. So uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I'm not going to reuse the stencil again because it's too intricate for me to retry to place it somewhere else. All that's left is really the paint on here, so I can just uh, pull it pretty freely. <laughs> pull it freely. IP freely. 
Look at the flag over here, huh? Is that nice and crisp or what? Badass. Incredible. Kudos to my friend Andy from Jericho, man. Skills. Really nice. Really nice, huh? And some nicks over here and there from paint, but... You know what? It's got to look uh, weathered, you know? How's that look, huh? Does that look badass or what? Look how crisp that flag is too. Awesome. This one's not going to look as good because it's a second try, you know? I reused that other one, so it's not going to be as good, I'm sure. You never know. Good. Look at that, huh? Woo! Sweet! It's a Franken Tractor 2 Desert Sand Military Hummer Edition. It's finito. We are finished, fellas. That looks badass, huh? That looks great. Many thanks to Andy from Jericho for the stencil. Looks fantastic. Here are the three engine blocks that I have left over from my Humvee project or the engine rebuild. Remember I had I had three blown Color Courage engines, right? Uh, I managed to put one together, and that's on my Franken Tractor 2, and it runs great, okay? Um, here is the last remaining sump cover that is still good. The only thing it's missing is the governor. The governor gear is off of this. I have this other sump cover, right? that has the governor on this plate here that's removable. So I'm going to remove this plate that has the governor on it, right? That's in good condition. And I'll replace it under there. The reason why I can't use this one here is if you look carefully here, this part here, the rod broke the housing of this post here. See? So this, this sump cover is done, Ski! Here's this other engine block that is Dunsky because, as you can see, it was a blown connecting rod. This rod that holds the cam on the right side, the exhaust cam, is bent, right? And because it bent, the post broke from that um, engine block. So there's a big hole there, see? So this block is Dunsky! Okay, now this has a good tappet, and it has a good fuel pump over here, uh, oil pump, right there. Okay, keep that in mind. This one over here was the one that 5-Speed Ash told me that I should list on eBay, even though it has a couple of cracks in it. Here, and here. If you look at it through the inside, you could actually see daylight <laughs> over here. See that? That crack? 
It's very bad. As a matter of fact, when I try to push it with my hands, you could actually hear crumbling and movement. So I don't think I could JB weld this. This one is... I mean, I guess I could, but it's not ideal. This last one right here, posts are all good, except it has a hole right there. See the hole? You can even see daylight, right? But I think I could uh, JB weld like a metal plate, put it over the hole, and then at the same time plug the hole on the bottom. I think that might be uh, a better seal because there's so many cracks on there, you know? So I think uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to seal that hole on that one. I've got a sump cover. I've got a couple of cams. I've got a good synchro balancer over here. That uh, journal on the crankshaft is no good. But I have another crankshaft that is good. So I'll replace that good crankshaft onto that good synchro balancer, right? And I think I could put one together. I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take the sump cover and both of those blocks because I'm gonna keep that as an as an option. Go to the backyard and take my hose and clean the inside of all the shards. So I took that other uh, block to the back to rinse it, and I thought I'd play around with this crack over here and the crack over here, and I was banging it, and it actually pushed it in quite a bit. So I think, actually, this might be a better candidate for the block, because the oil will sit over here, you know what I mean? And I, yes, it will still drip out and stuff, but I don't think there's anything that really moves around there. However, if I tried to seal that big hole on the bottom and put a plate there, I believe the synchro balancer is moving there a lot. So I could just see it touching that part and slowly scraping that piece of metal that I intended on JB welding there, and it might move, you know? So if I'm banging this crack in better, right, and there's almost no crack at all, I think I could just seal that better with the JB weld. See, this was sticking out before, but if I went like this, lightly, it's almost smooth now. Not bad. This one here pops up a little bit here. Yeah, that's not bad. I think if I put JB Weld over here and also on the inside, I think I can seal these cracks pretty well. I think this might be a better candidate for the block to rebuild. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do! I'm gonna bang this a little. Just rinsed off that sump cover. I'm not gonna remove that plate the one with the governor onto this good sump cover that I'm going to use. I'm going to swap that plate for this plate. So I successfully moved that governor gear and plate to the good sump now. So that's the good sump that I was banging. It's all cleaned up and ready to go. I'm going to move this oil pump to that.
So hey guys, sorry, uh, my phone died, and uh, I just kept on going, you know. I managed to put this together. I uh, figured out that I do need a uh, push rod, one push rod, and uh, I believe I need the caps for these. I forget. Did I have caps for these? You're supposed to have caps for these, and I have none. So I need a push rod. I have one here. I need a push rod for this one. I think I need caps, okay? I'm repairing that side heat deflector, the one that didn't work for my first Kohler Courage, right? I've got silicone on this side, I've got silicone on that side, and hopefully this will work. Remember, I made a, a gasket for the mouth. The mouth is this size, right? It's an unusually wide gasket. I don't know where the other bolt is here. I'll have to go and try to find that. Um, I've got the everything else in there. I've got the good camshaft onto the good synchro balancer. got the two only camshafts left that I have onto a good oil pump and a good rod. The only head that I have, I grinded it down and the only good gasket I had I put it in, found a spark plug, put it in, uh, and looks like I have a good sump cover too. Where is it? There it is. That's a good sump cover with the plate and the governor reattached onto there. Uh, the gasket actually is good on here, you know, sort of. But as you guys know, Kohler actually recommends you use RTV. I cleaned the surfaces there. I'm going to put a layer of RTV uh, as well as over here as well. And uh, that took a long time to do, um, this engine. I uh, put the governor shaft in, put myself a uh, oil drain plug. So I'm going to find out if I need caps for the end of this valve, these valves. And then I'll order a uh, push rod. And then put the, ma the, put the <laughs> sump cover on put the flywheel on, put the magneto on, put the starter on, find a wiring harness for it, the fan, blower fan, the top grill, carburetor, I mean a lot, okay, but that's a big chunk of it right here, I've, from parts to that, okay, so that that's really good. I've got that single overhead valve Briggs that I need a connecting rod for, and today we We got the Punisher American Star on the hood. Does that look badass or what? That looks badass. Got the American flag on there, nice and sharp. And that looks great. And I managed to use that stencil twice and came out pretty well as well. So we got two American flags on each side. Got the Punisher Star. Looks fantastic. That's it. Frank and Tractor 2 Desert Sand Humvee military theme is done. It's done, Ski! Ah, jeez, it's so nice. I don't even want to park it in the backyard, you know what I mean? In this tremendous heat, I managed to mow the lawn, too. I'm like Superman. Quick mailbag before I pass out and die. I mean, just dripping of sweat, fellas. Crazy talk, man. Crazy talk. But uh, I know today's episode wasn't glamorous and exciting, you know, putting on a stencil and getting an engine together, but you know what? It's what I do every day, and not every day is going to be an exciting project, right? We just got done with that Franken Tractor 2. That was a pretty exciting project. <laughs> oh, I never thought these would come. It took three months to get here, but I needed a replacement. That's right. A new pair of grass flip-flops. I'll have to save these for next summer till I wear out my white ones. I, I literally waited three months for these. Uh, it cost $16. Awesome. And uh, so while I was getting that engine together, this feels like what I think it is. 
and uh, I told you that I was looking for a connecting rod for that Briggs single overhead valve. It appears that that's the only thing that I need to put that engine together. So uh, I was looking and looking and I could only find uh, connecting rods that were like 40 bucks and higher. But then I was looking the other day and I did find one. You just gotta keep looking. And I found a connecting rod. 28 through 31 cubic inches. And I believe that engine I'm working on is a 16 horsepower and it's a 31C707. 31 means 31 cubic inches, which means this should be okay to use because that says 28 through 31. Why is that not like... Anyway, you guys can see it. 28 to 31, there you go. So uh, this was $25 shipped to me and it's in excellent condition. So uh, maybe tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll put the single overhead valve together and have another engine. Man, how about that, huh? If I could get those two engines fixed, I'll have two spare engines for future projects. And then if I get another intake, ma uh, intake valve for that 13.5 flathead, Maybe I can get three engines going, huh? How about that? Anyway, I'm going to go inside and have a heart attack and pass out. I will see you guys tomorrow. That's right. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to see you tomorrow. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Yeah.